Taurus or Taurus cross watcher. Let's go ahead and get this timer started, but sorry, I got distracted by the ice cream truck. It was like, -na 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 -na. I don't do ice cream trucks. I don't, I don't do them. No offense to anybody who does ice cream trucks, but I just don't do ice cream trucks. And uh, they creep me the fuck out. I don't know. I just don't do them. It's something about ice cream trucks ever since I was a kid. It just does something to me. So anyway, I just heard one, and then I heard the neighbors again, and I'm like, are they getting in a fight? And I heard that in Sagittarius. So anyway, some of you could be dealing with Sagittarius or a Scorpio possibly here. Hi, guys. How are you doing today? <laughs> this message is going to be for Taurus. Boy, I am so glad that we are out of that last series. And now we're going on to a new series. But, wow, holy. <sighs> it was, that, was, that was some heavy... I mean, it was all kinds of things, but it ended up being really heavy. <laughs> oh my God. Some of you could have just recently got out of something that was just heavy. I don't know how long it was heavy for, but it felt like it dragged on forever. Forever. It had just been a long ass day. You ever have those? Everybody gets those. Every now and then, you know, you just have a day that just seems like the whole day would last it a week. You know, or you could have a relationship that seems to have just drug on forever, like pulling teeth, just constant. I'm hearing nag, 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 nag. Anyway, before I started your video, I heard, by the way, if you're new here, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for my returning and those who are new. I'm ADD, really bad. Okay. I also think I'm neurodivergent. I'm still on the, I'm still trying to figure that out. And so got a couple of doctors. Meanwhile, I heard. Lord have mercy, baby, put her blue jeans on. It's a country song. Let's look up the lyrics. Lord have mercy, baby, put her blue jeans on. I don't know the, the song. Oh, it's called Baby's Got Her Blue Jeans On. Mm-hmm. The singer is Mel McDaniel. No, no, no. Written by Bob McDeal. Why, why do I gotta talk like this? I don't know, but I am. My country music artist recorded by Mel McDaniel. Baby's got her blue jeans on. Let's look at the lyrics, shall we? Lyrics. All right, here we go. hotter in hell up in here. First it's cold, then it's hot. It's like, make up your mind. <laughs> Shit. Down on the corner by the traffic light, everybody's looking as she goes by. They turn their heads and they watch her till she's gone. Lord have mercy, baby's got her blue jeans on. Up by the bus stop and across the street, open up their windows to take a peek. Guys, I have been getting this for I don't know how long about neighbors staring and watching. I got it in Aries now. I got it in Capricorn, I believe. Something like that. There's the fucking ice cream truck. Look, you can have them nice ass blue jeans on all day, but you ain't going outside when there's creepos out there. Mm -mm. Chester's out there roaming the streets. Be careful. Y'all don't never know who's watching y'all, okay? I just gotta say. So basically, somebody's watching you, okay? It's just gonna be a repeat message, it seems. <laughs> it's not a bad one. It's just like, you look really fucking fine. Man or woman, you look fine when you go get the mail. You look fine... If you're a male, you're a really hot fucking male. If you're a female, you are a hot female. You are hot as fuck, okay? It's like they, they hope you go get the mail again. They hope the mail passes when they come home or when they're off work or some shit just so they can watch you walk by because you look so damn fine. Like, it's something that you wear. It's how you wear it. It's something how you do your hair. It's how you wear it. You know, it's something how you do you. It's just really fucking hot. It's attractive. And not only are they looking at you, whoever they are, you may not even know shit. But everybody else is looking at you too. And now you may say, there's no way. There's no way nobody's looking at me where I live. Nobody's doing that. Well, how do you know it's not at your job? And some of you are like, because I work from home. That's how I know. That's how I know it ain't for my job. And it's like somewhere you go, okay, unless you have agoraphobia and you never leave your house, which no judgment. I think I have a tinge of it. <laughs> for real. You go somewhere and somebody's looking, okay? And if you don't go nowhere, I'm telling you it's something you do online then. 
I think mostly it's in person though. It's somebody who sees you in the physical flesh. They see you walk. They see something to do with your butt, something to do with your waist. You're, I'm hearing waistline. You're attractive, okay? Up by the bus stop, and maybe you go to the bus stop to get your kids, drop your kids off. Maybe it's in the mornings, early in the morning. Maybe it's late in the afternoon. Maybe it's when you leave to go to the gas station to get whatever you pick up. I don't know, okay? Heaven help us. Baby's got her blue jeans on. I think this is more feminine, but it could be a male. You know, it could be anybody. This is somebody who's just fine as shit. It's like so hard to not, I'm hearing gawk at you. This is kind of a repeat of Aries. Now I'm going to do a bonus for Aries because I'm doing bonuses for whoever had like the most views and Aries and I think Scorpio last had the most views. But uh, the first message I did for Aries, I'll try to remember to put that at the end of this video, <laughs> Taurus or Crosswatcher. That was very similar to this one. Very similar. She's not to blame if they look her way. She ain't really trying to cause a scene. See, thank God somebody sees that. Because some people will be like, well, you don't want people to look at you. You shouldn't act that way. Or you don't want people to look at you. You shouldn't dress that way. And it's like, uh, uh, uh fucking excuse me? You know what I'm saying? It's not like you're walking out with your vag hanging out. You know what I'm saying? With a sign that says, check out my vag. You know? But I mean, if you did, that's you, I guess. You know, I, mean, I don't know what to say. I don't think you're doing that. I think you're just walking outside being you or you're, wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, you're doing and being you. Okay? You just happen to wear it well. You just happen to do whatever you do. You do it very well. It looks, it's flattering is what I'm hearing. But yeah. Something you do, something, however you dress, whatever style you have is very flattering on your figure. It's flattering for your personality. It makes people intrigued. It makes them want to get to know you. It's not like, okay, have you guys ever, I mean, maybe this happened to you, but have you ever seen somebody who moved to your town? Maybe you grew up somewhere and you were kind of accustomed to how everybody kind of dressed. I mean, everybody has their own taste. But mostly everybody kind of dresses the same, right? And then somebody new moves in town and you can fucking tell. Maybe they're from like, you're from like an old country town. And then, well, I speak from experience, right? And then um, I moved to California my high school year, my senior year. And it, that's a whole new fucking world. I'm like, holy shit, if we dress like that on a daily out in Tennessee, honey. They would shit themselves. Imagine how Dolly Parton felt back in the day. She probably got gawked at all the time. Basically, somebody here stands out like a sore thumb. You, okay? <laughs> I like that. I live for sore thumb, okay? I love it. I'm like, is it giving sore thumb? Because I like it. As long as I'm a sore thumb, yeah, then we're doing good. So, sore thumb kind of sexy. That's you. No, that's hot. You're... They even try to make noise so you'll come outside. For real, like if this is a neighbor, again, I'm getting the neighbor, okay? Or if it's somebody like a neighboring uh, company, business, somebody, they try to make noise or they try to do something so that you'll come out. Yes. You could be on a trip. You could be on a damn trip, especially if you travel for work or something. Let's say you got to stay in hotels or something, okay? Somebody could have seen you walking down the halls and they're like breaking their neck. I'm talking rubber neck and like if, when you see a wreck or something and you're like, oh my God. So you happen to be on the same floor and that, here, here they go making noise at all hours of the night. Come on now. Do they got to make that much noise? But it's like you damn right they do because they're trying to get you to come out and see even if they got to piss you off to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just so they could see you come out and then they'll be like, hey, you know what I mean? Just to get a chance to kind of, you know, if it's like if you're at a hotel or something, try to like breakfast in the morning. They want to come down as soon as the breakfast because they know that you're going to be down there for breakfast because that's the first time they saw you was at breakfast so they want to come a bit you get the idea right hmm. it's like if, if it is somebody like a neighbor and they know that you happen to leave at a certain time you know because they are a neighbor they are going to try to be outside at a certain time you know make whatever kind of excuse like oh i left my my lighter in my truck. I'm going to go out there and go to my truck so I can get my lighter. Although I could have got it all night the night before, but I'm going to come out in the morning just so, or maybe they go out there intentionally while they know you're sleeping to put shit out there just so they have an excuse to go back out there in the morning. <laughs> and it's just because they want to like see you. You know what I mean? I think they want you to see them seeing you because it kind of goes along with Aries. Some of you are definitely connected to an Aries. Okay. If it's like an online thing, it's like, Somebody knows when you post or they come every day hoping that you post or something because they want to see, they just want to see you. 
Somebody wants to see you. I want to see you. You have that sore thumb kind of sexy. I've never heard it put like that, but I like it. <laughs> you set your own kind of, you know, it's like I try so hard not to look at you. This could even be people who aren't supposed to be looking at you, if you know what I mean? Like you're kind of a, don't, like you, you're like a, what's the word? You're like a, in a way, temptation. That's not the word though. It's like you're, you're a, like stay away from her. Stay away from him. You're not supposed to. You're the kind that people aren't supposed to want, you know, maybe because they're spoken for or their family members or friends with your exes or something. You know what I'm saying? Like you're the type they're not supposed to want, but well, they do. Or maybe you're in a fucking relationship watching this. It could be completely reversed. Taurus to Taurus cross watcher, but well, they can't help it. You know what I mean? Like at least in their mind, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying somebody here is like, I know you're with somebody or I know that you you haven't even given me any inclination that you're interested, but you're fucking hot. You know what I mean? Like, I can't help it. Wow. Like, you definitely stand out. Not even just how you dress and how you... I'm hearing it's how you more so carry yourself. Man or woman, even if you're fucking shy. You know? You'd be surprised. Excuse me. Um, how I've had, like, acid reflux lately. It's not bad. It's just kind of like it's there. You know, um, fuck, what was I saying? Son of a, oh, shy. Even if you're shy or you wear a lot of hoodies or you try not to be seen, even you trying not to be seen gets you seen. It's something to do with your aura. It's, it's the energy that you put off. It's your smile. It's your eyes. It's the way you carry yourself. Even how you walk. You can tell a lot about a person by their walk, their stride. You can tell if they're cocky. You can tell I me mean, not fully, but you can get an idea. You know, you can tell if they're insecure by how a person walks, by how they look you in the eye, by how they shake your hand, by how they speak to you. There's like an, there's like an, uh, I'm hearing an air of, but there's like a, an energy surrounding you of m mystery. Like, I want to get to know more. You're not just, the, somebody knows when they look at you, they don't see, or they're not going to get everything that they see. There's so much about you that could be uncovered. Like, do you see what I'm saying? You're layered. You're very, almost mysterious. You're intriguing. You're some sort of mystical to you. I'm getting like mystical. I'm seeing fog. I'm seeing a scene from a movie, but I don't know what movie this is. There's a unicorn. Sorry if I'm staring in the camera all weird. It's just because I'm getting a vision. Sorry, I'm creeping some of you out. <laughs> you creep people out too. You scare them. You scare them a little bit, you know? Probably the eye contact. You know, some people don't like that. But anyway, I'm seeing a unicorn here. It's a white unicorn. And it's in this field and there's a lot of glitter everywhere. It's a very dreamy. It's like ethereal. It's otherworldly. It seems like it came from a movie though. It's just not coming to me. And there's like all this glitter everywhere. And you're in like this gown. It gives me vibes of, you guys ever seen that music video by Evanescence? Some of you could listen to Evanescence, love Evanescence, love rock. Maybe you went to an Evanescence concert. Something to do with Evanescence here. Maybe you look like Evanescence. Maybe you have hair like Evanescence, or they do. This is reversed. Um, Lithium? I think it was her video, Lithium Evanescence, by the way. She's fucking amazing. She's hot, too. Lithium, in my opinion. Lithium Evanescence. Yes, like very dark. You may even look kind of gothic. Maybe you are gothic. Maybe you have this like blood sucking look to you sometimes, even if you wear bright colors. I don't get that you do, but even if you do, it kind of scares people. Like the way your eye contact, something how you carry yourself is like mysterious. You can tell that you can handle your own. They may even wonder if you've casted spells on people or if you could because, or maybe they know, you know, because they can, it's just the energy that you put off. Okay. But yeah, watch the video. I'll try to remember to put it down in the um, comments. But the video is called Lithium. The song, rather. And she's got this white gown on. It's snowing. But imagine that with, like, a unicorn in the background. A white unicorn. A little vampiric, you know. A little... <laughs> um, a little I can't breathe. A little... You give me vibes of someone who maybe has battled 
your mental illness if you have it I mean don't we all have mental illness like come on now <laughs> right but you have a uh, good control of yourself or something like that you may even be on isn't that what she's talking about here have you ever taken actual lithium like the stone lithium and put them in water and drink your water that way I'm not a doctor I'm just wondering if any of you have ever done it. I used to do that lithium is actually really pretty in stones um I gotta sneeze and my timer went way off lithium stone it's really pretty yeah it's like um look up raw lithium quartz they're very pretty so but anyway i used to put them in uh water in my water when i drank it it says it's generally considered safe for water contact how long can i leave uh quartz in water days weeks months years or longer Anyway, don't take my word on nothing. Do not be drinking no lithium water with a lithium stone in it until you consult your doctor or physician. Do not do it at all, period, okay? Do not follow my footsteps. Okay, I've told you before. What's that saying? I don't know who said it, but I, don't follow my footsteps. I walk into walls. That's me. So don't do it, okay? But I'm just telling you that's what I used to do. Anyway, okay. So yeah, I'm getting this vibe of like, you have this energy of this like vampiric type goddess. You know, I see like, cobblestone you've definitely been here several lifetimes and bitch it shows okay man or woman but more so feminine here very uh powerful vibes okay it gives it's giving like sexy ursula right <laughs> sexy ursula what the fuck it's like you poor unfortunate souls like they don't want to fuck with you you know what I mean? I'm not saying you're not, you, you don't fall and you don't get down and have your moments, but I'm about to sneeze. That's confirmation. You scare somebody. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Wow. And that is powerful right there. That just stopped me in my tracks. You, you damn near stopped somebody in their tracks. So I'm going to go because I feel another one coming on. It's like, yeah, if somebody here. Oh, they, but they just want to get closer to you. You know, it's like sniffing a flower, but you know, you're allergic. Somebody's afraid you're going to like bite them in the neck, you know, <laughs> someone's afraid that your energy, like your energy sticks to people. I said, I'm going to go, but I have to tell you this cause I'm getting it real quick. If you've ever touched this person, I mean, ever even like shook their fucking hand or gave them a hug or handed them something in which your energy has touched. Let me tell you. It's still radiating from you. It's still got some sort of, your energy stuck to it or stuck to them. I'm serious. I'm dead fucking serious. Or an object of yours that you've left behind that somebody has or will have, if this hasn't happened yet, it's like they feel you through it. They can connect with you. That's how strong you are, okay? I'm serious. I don't know who I'm picking up on here, but maybe you've got some like psychic gifts or something or this feminine does like strong. I don't mean some. I mean like a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe even a musical ability of some type. Because in the video, Lithium, she's playing the piano. The piano. <laughs> the piano. Oh, fine. Fuck it. I'll just, let me just look up the lyrics a little bit. And then we'll go. Okay. Don't want to lock me up inside Lithium. Don't want to forget how it feels without Lithium. I want to stay in love with my sorrow. But God, I want to let it go. Like, you're you're deep okay and somebody can tell that you're deep even if they don't know you they can see it in your eyes your eyes are the doorway to your soul they can't lie not that you would you don't give a shit you know what i'm saying but like somebody here can tell or if they know you a little bit <clears throat> vice versa if this is you to another maybe y'all haven't talked in a while or you don't talk often you don't get to talk often or you won't get to if this hasn't happened yet but it's like this vibe of I know that you've been through pain I can feel it I can see it or I can see and feel that you're going through some sort of pain right now I can tell that you want to lock yourself up inside come to bed don't make me sleep alone couldn't hide the emptiness you let it show never wanted it to be so cold just didn't drink enough to say you love me 
I can't hold on to me. Wonder what's wrong with me. Lithium. Don't want to... Somebody can tell you've been hurt, okay? They can tell you've been hurt. They can tell you've been abused. They can tell you've been used. They can tell that maybe even something physically has happened to you. You know what I'm saying? Vice versa. You can tell this about another. and Or you know. You outright know. You've seen them. Maybe you know somebody personally, but you never got to know them on a deep level. Vice versa. If this is you, somebody never gets to know you on a deeper level because somebody was always standing in the way. I feel like I could go on yours forever, but unfortunately I have a lot more to do and I've got to go help my mom with my grandma. My mom's actually about to have knee surgeries, guys, which is awful. That's absolutely awful because she's going to be so incapacitated. It's just awful for her, you know, but I'm going to have to help a lot more with my grandma. So I could drag this on, but if it's meant for more to come out later, we'll see. This is another reason I think it's a good thing, like that I take a couple of days in between sometimes when I need to in between messages because if I um if you ever had like a lawnmower and you like over push the button you could flood it right it's like that I don't want to flood the energy I want to be able to pick up on pure raw energy and the only way I can do that is if there's a little bit of space in between so it gives time for um a message to accumulate Whereas if we're doing it every day or every other day, it doesn't give enough time for a situation to arise, right? For somebody to start thinking and feeling things for me to get a different message. It'll be very much the same messages every time. So I'm preaching to the choir here because I hate that. I hate when it feels like it's dragging because this last series felt like, I'm telling you, I know I've said it a million times, but it felt like, it's like it was dragging. I fucking hate that so much. But I am I guess it happened for a reason, like it, it needed to happen the way that it did as annoying as it was, but I'm, you know, I guess that's why. All right, anyway. So yeah, you're a sore thumb kind of sexy and you stand out. Keep doing you because it's doing something, you know what I mean? And the thing is, I don't even think you're doing you so people notice, you're just doing you, that's just who you are and somebody can tell. Like, you're not a basic bitch, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Damn. See, I can keep talking. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.